Oh, I just got got one. Oh, that's a good one. That's a fish. Oh, there's my fish. Got in that town. Oh, okay. What is going on, you guys? It is very windy out here today. Very sunny and bright. It's really feeling like spring out here. Little teaser for what's to come. The goal today. The goal today is to catch some river smallmouth. So let me quit my rambling and let's get to it. Let's get this started. Throwing around this little thing right here. Kind of like a miniature brush hog. This will be good for mimicking a crawdad, fish. Let's get it out here. See if we can get a fish. Definitely need to work that tension side. That'd be good right there. Oh, uh, that freaking wind is annoying. Oh, I just got a, got one. First cast, guys. It ain't bad. Yeah, it's a nice one, guys. Got it. Stay pin, baby. Stay pin. Stay pin. You got it? Yep. Very nice one. First cast. A good one. Look at that belly. A spawning. Nice hook set, too. This baby's definitely feeding up. She's about to go lay some eggs. Look at this. Somebody's fishing line is wrapped oh. all around her. We'll throw that away. I got her right in the chunky part. I mean, I might actually need pliers to pull that up out of her. I mean, right there where you'd want to get them to keep them pinned. I'm just going to pull it through the other way. It's so thick right there. I just had a feeling that that bait would get it done. All right, that was a heck of a hook sack. I got her right in the meat right there in the nose, but she's good. All right, we're going to snag a few quick pictures of this baby and get her right back in because she is about to spawn. We actually, uh, we thought we were filming, but we weren't when we released that beautiful girl. I was supposed to be filming that. Oops. She took off strong. I'm soaking wet where she splashed me, but still very nice first catch. So let's get this back out here and uh, we're going to have to retie up because I had to pull the hook out the opposite way. I didn't want to rip her face up. She's way too pretty for that. We have some live music over here too. It's very nice. All right, I'm going to be using the same bait. Like I said, this just mimics uh, a crawfish, a fish, so many different things. Worm. Hopefully that wasn't bad luck first cast catch. I mean, as soon as it hit the water, she was on. She's very pregnant. So that's another reason why, you know, I, I wish we were filming, but we were in such a hurry to get her back in the water. These pregnant females, I like to, um, you know, if you want to take a picture, snap a quick picture and get them right back in exactly where you caught them at, because they are about to make babies. And uh, she's a beautiful fish. I want her genes to go on and I want her happy and healthy. I know she's not too happy with me, but she'll move on eventually and forget about it. Yes, I'm gonna walk over here on these rocks. What a great um, catch though. I'm really pleased with that. It's not often I get them on the first cat cast, which uh, may be bad luck. Yeah, I know it'll push you on it. It's a strong, powerful gust. I had a feeling about this bait. It looks like a brush hog, but it's a little bit thicker, kind of like a crawdad. And um, I just had such a good feeling about it. We just left Walmart and picked this up out of the bargain bin. All right, I'm gonna walk over there to that corner. I just think that windblown corner is gonna be really good. Let's walk over here. I'm gonna go just right over to this corner if you wanna join me. All right. I don't care for that. All right do this. It's a windblown corner over here I think would be pretty good. I'm going to try that out and then come back to where we were. Hopefully if no one comes and takes our spot. I do think it'll be a fish over here though. My fish senses are tingling. We're going to come right on down here at this log. I like things living up in there that I'm scared of. There, sit there. Try right here, and then I'm probably going to push back up to where we were. I feel like this spot right here is going to be good. I'm going to head back this way. Hopefully Maddie catches a freaking tank. I would love that. Y'all know we can't ever go fishing without hiking through the freaking woods. Can't just stick to the simple spot.
I'm really shocked that nothing's in here. It's hard to believe. Oh, okay. There we go. I knew something would be in here. I knew something would be there. Nice little smallmouth. First one of the year. Thanks, buddy. Oh, man. Oh. He is almost dead, dude. What? He's missing an eye. Poor baby. We're gonna go ahead and get him back in. He don't look too good. He's probably the worst looking fish I've ever caught. Like, he's half eaten. Poor guy, man. Let's go ahead and get you back in quick. Sorry about that, buddy. All right, we're back. So I'm gonna walk up here a little bit. I don't know if that fish had been partially digested in another fish's stomach and spit out, or if it had some sort of disease. Honestly, it looked like it had been eaten and <laughs> managed to get out. And that little guy has enough fight in him to get back out and try to eat and try to live. That fish is, he, he wants to live. So I put him back in the water quickly as possible. I would have really wanted to show Ray, but she'll see it on the video. Oh, there's another one. Oh, that's a good one. Come here. Fish number three for the day. She got one, y'all. Yes, I knew that corner would have fish over there. And I knew if anyone was going to find them, it would be her. This one has also got like a roughed up patch right there. But look at the beautiful colors. Hey, wrong way. Okay. Well, that's good. Three fish today so far. We just got here. Ray don't know about the first one yet. She's too far away, I can't tell her. Just going around. I don't think these guys are in spawn yet. I think it's very much pre-spawn. So just trying to get out of here and find spots where they would be looking for food. Crawdads and uh, bait fish. Oh, this rock is not uh, sturdy like I thought it would be. Let's just step right on off of that. These guys aren't very picky. As long as it looks like a little crawfish or can mimic a little tiny minnow or bait fish, they'll bite it. Secret is just being patient with them, finding them. Okay, that's a fish. Oh no, he got off, he got off. It kind of took me by surprise a little bit, but I don't think I got a hook in him. That felt like a good one, but you never really know these guys fight so freaking hard. These fish are ready. Today is Sunday and Tuesday is the first day of spring. And today I'm really seeing that these fish are getting closer to the shallows, getting up on the banks, getting ready to lay some eggs. You guys probably noticed that first fish that Ray caught was very pregnant. Second fish caught today was very zombie-ish. Half did. It's pretty large muskies in this part of the river, this river is, this part specifically is known for the large muskie. And it's that time of year where they're feeding up too. It's a fountain over there when the wind blows. I literally am filling the water off of that. It's blowing all the way over here. It feels like it's raining on me. It's really going toward Maddie right now. Getting sprayed with funky James Root River water right now, that freaking fountain over there where it's so windy. <laughs> 
movement. He wanted to eat that. You guys see how that's in his mouth? He wanted that. Thanks, buddy. Yes. Ray just got another one. I'm gonna go ahead and go back over here. He definitely wanted that the way he uh, bit it. Beautiful little fish. There he goes. Try not to step in the water. Oh. Four fish on board. Whew, that gonna stay around. Guys, I cannot tell you how much I've missed smallmouth. Look at that, what he did to that bait. As a kid, that was the species that started my love for fishing, and particularly river smallmouth. This little thing is really putting in some work, and look, his appendages are still even attached. And my strategy, guys, all I've been doing is just popping this little guy, giving him little twitches to make him look like a little crawdad bouncing around. And that's it. Very simple. We got live music over there. I'm here for the party. I just gotta figure out how I'm gonna get up these rocks. This is gonna be fun. The situations I get myself into. Oh my goodness, guys. Oh my goodness. Whew. I just need to start a new YouTube channel about rock climbing since I tend to, since I'm always doing more of that than fishing. Got my exercise for today. Maddie just, um, we had parted ways both of us fishing and she just informed me that she caught a zombie fish and was showing me the clips of that thing is wicked looking poor thing the only bad thing about this spot guys is you're very limited um it's like this is it if you walk over there and walk that way which we already have i like places where i can really fill up the water and walk around i'm sitting down taking a quick break Comes Maddie. Look at my butt. Did you fall? Yeah. Came down here. Fell in wet mud. Hopefully there's some fish here. I think I may have made a mistake. Got red mud all over my butt. She's got mud all over her. Anyways, I'm gonna sip on some water and Maddie said something about wanting to switch spots. I'm just gonna rest up. Then I'll get with her and we'll figure out what the next move is. Don't trust mud that looks like this. Oh no, it's slick. I thought it was hardened. Places. This is the hill I'm about to fall down. I'm gonna try. Oh my. All right, guys, we'll catch you when we get there. Pray that I don't roll down here. All right, we were right on the other side of that stuff right there. Right there. Now we're here. So we'll see what happens. Yeah, I like the looks of this place. Did you hear that? People be catfishing here. Look at this. Look. Let's get this before it goes into the river. People pick up your trash. Get that later. Come a boat. They spun around quick. They don't like donuts in the water. There's an old shoe right here. An old shoe. It looks like an old child shoe. That's creepy. The boat costs an old shoe to wash up. There's also a um a milk crate right here. All right, let's roll. All right, we're going to spot number three. Catch you guys there. First, we gotta hike up this mountain. All right. You are so welcome. All right, and here's the rope. So many nasty hands to spin on. Fishy hands. Same. You got it? Yep. Just need me to get out the way. Our third and final spot, and Maddie's fish senses are tingling. Maddie might catch her spring giant. Not gonna lie, I expected to have a bite already. My fish senses were through the roof. I got the fish right there in the middle. Probably right where we can't reach. Yeah. Oh, there he 
Here's my fish. <laughs> Your fish senses were right. Oh yeah. yeah. Is that a big one? Yeah, it's a nice one. Is that a largey? You're kidding. I swear. What? I've never seen a large mouth around here. He's barely hooked. He's barely hooked. Whoa! That is a pregnant largey. Look at that. Look how pregnant. Got it? Sir. That's the fish of the day. Yo, we came here for smallmouth. We love largemouth, but we did not think we would find any in this area of the river. This is usually smallmouth territory. So that's pretty cool. What a beautiful fish. Awesome job. I told y'all my fish senses were tangling. And they was right. Oh, that'll get your adrenaline pumping. That big old belly on that fish. Just happy to see her uh, swim off strong so she can spawn up. Just weird to see a largemouth in this area of the river. They are in here, so clearly it can happen. She was over here looking to munch up on crawfish, most likely. But she's about to spawn and lay her eggs. And I know that because her belly, my God, if that wasn't a pregnant belly, then she needs to lay off the beer. If we catch nothing else, that fish was worth it. I'm gonna walk over here, and if it's nothing good looking, we're just gonna head on and call it a day. Look at this. Oh, should we keep going this way? Coming through the forest. Look, somebody's been walking through here. These are fresh prints, so it is possible. Please, dear God, let it be no snakes. The river usually comes up past here, as you can tell. The stuff in my shoe is bothering me. So far, I don't know if it's worth it. I'm gonna find out a little bit more though. Some more deets. After a short but brutal hike and no more look, catches, look we finally like decided to call it a day. We just came through the jungle. That is gonna wrap it up for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'd say all in all, our first smallmouth trip, even though Maddie caught a beast of a large mouth, was a success. We didn't come for large mouth, but we always welcomed them. But anyways, that's gonna wrap it up. Hope you guys enjoyed. And as always, we will catch you in the next one.